I need to get the dark gray tentacle and then we'll go. We just dropped a pin. We'll see what happens as a high pedestrian area. We're gonna ping pong around this square. Want to see the behavior? We're, you know, with the the parking right now is it's not consistent, but I don't think people expected B12 to like be parking people. Yeah. <laughs> period. Yeah. Pulling off, but like when it does it, it's super cool, like we saw in the first video. Yeah. I think with this version, the rate of improvement is really the thing I'm looking forward forward to the most. Because you're already seeing so many different things that have been resolved. See, I would have gone there. Yeah. There I would have gone. But I would have done that. Let's see if it shoots this gap. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not mad about that. <laughs> I would have done that. You know, version 11 would have never done that. But it's that kind of behavior, I think, that sometimes is going to get it in trouble. Because it's going to try to do that, but it's doing so maybe a little bit too aggressively. And that's where the team has to like really balance comfort and safety, like hardcore. Because this system has the comfort thing. I mean, the system has a comfort thing super down with this system. Now it's just getting it so to be safe. You, that's the biggest thing for you with V12? 100%. So just far. feeling way comfortable. Way more comfortable. From, from, from a comfort perspective. But I'm not convinced that it's going to do the right... See, like, like, like that thing that we encountered with the intersection. Mm -hmm. Now my head's like, okay, so this thing has the comfort down, but this, I feel like the safety of this, of this system right now is not up to version 11 standard, mm -hmm. right? So that's I feel like they still need to, they still need to work that out, and I think that's why it's in such limited release right now. It's because they're gathering that data to prove that out. So this is a parking garage. Yeah. Maybe we should drop the pin on the parking garage. See yeah, if it goes in. Thing. So now this this turn was like super yeah. like weird. Could park right here. Yeah. That turn was way too hesitant. It should have just came out right away. But it was on a uh, jiggle wheel. It was on a, a hill. It couldn't maybe see over the. Yeah, but it might, the way I judge it is if I can see it, the car should be able to see it too. Mm -hmm. And so yep. if I see both sides are clear, like the car should should make that maneuver. This is no parking, but you know, for an Uber driver, we can. We can stop and drop someone off. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what it does. So we're gonna go into an endless loop of death again. <laughs> yeah, there's a car coming out here. So here we're not giving the right away to the person. Sorry. Okay, we should probably accelerate. We'll block. Okay, this it, it's wanting to stop. Yeah. That was where it was gonna stop. <laughs> yeah. So that's and that was not right, obviously, because it was a guy coming out of the parking deck on our right here, and we were just blocking their their thing. So okay. So it, it still seems like arriving at destinations needs a lot of work, but it's not like version eleven was doing that at all. So that's that is a interesting thing that we're seeing some some situations where the software is handling those situations correctly of arriving at a destination. Whereas um, version 11 would have just not been able to handle any of that at all. How is how's this compare versus the other tests you've done so far? Pretty similar. Okay. Um, we haven't gotten in these, these doom loops. Typically we're going to a, a business with a parking lot. So the, the street parking. That's nice. Um, I think we've gotten a little bit unlucky with. Okay. Yeah, so the way it went around that pedestrian was perfect. Here we go, making a right turn. People typically drive these roads a little bit faster than it's driving right now, but mm -hmm. it's not, it's, I'm not, I don't hate it. There you go, it heard me. <laughs> heard me. Elon's listening for us. listening. Shout out Elon. You've been tracking that open AI thing that's been happening? Yes, man. <laughs> what a poop show. <laughs> man, wild. Okay, well, here we got a right to a stop sign. Oh, man, you clear that intersection. Oh. Okay, oh. all right. <laughs> Fine. I have my butt clenched, but we navigated that dip, no problem. The dips always scare me because you see these scrapes. Yeah, I know. All right, we got a right turn here. We got, we're in a little bit of a hill. We're completely clear, and the car sees that, and it cleared that perfectly. Okay. That was great. We got a car. Oh, Porsche take you. Sweet. We saw an original Roadster today. Nice. Would you 
Roadster, uh, James O'Dowd bought the three that were found in that container. Did Dan you O'Dowd, see that? Yeah. <laughs> or Dan O'Dowd. <laughs> he bought them? That's who bought them? Bought I didn't them. know that. Yeah. <laughs> he, he loves his Teslas, yeah, which is like super ironic. It's what a fascinating guy. He's got names for them. He does. I did not know he bought them. We got a red traffic light here. Yeah, that's, so what I fully expect to see now I was talking about this a little bit earlier was I think the rate of improvement with this software is really going to be the, the differentiator between this and every other version out there. So what Tesla has to prove with their end-to-end -end neural network setup and their compute power going up and their data collection capability, they have to prove that this version on this stack is going to look silly in about six months to a year. That's that's what, they, in my opinion, that's what they need to prove to to show that, hey, this is like, this is it. This is it. Because it's already doing a lot of things way better than version 11. But so, yeah, no jitter here. Yeah, no jitter, super nice turn. But I suspect that those gaps that are left, in theory, all they have to do is just throw, throw, throw data at the problem and just let the AI figure it out. Mm -hmm. And if that, and that, that theory is correct, we should see that play out this year. So that by the end of the year, this thing is like gangbusters. Like it just, it just has no, no gaps. It's like, you know, if you think about the, the go problem, right? Where let's see if it finds a parking spot here. So we got another parking lot situation. So we got a pin right here. It says autopilot navigation complete. Person pulling in. Good. So yeah, it's starting to loop thing again. Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll go back to that commercial district and just see how it does, like how okay. how repeatable it is. Sure. Um. So we'll do that. Let's do it. We'll go back to the supercharger. No, I mean that, that was great comment. So repeat what you said because that's really good commentary. So yeah. the, when I take people in my car in version 11, I always explain that it's like it's like a student driver in their first week of, of student driving school, right? They kind of understand the rules of the road. They're still learning things. They're a little timid, kind of like that a little bit, right? Yeah, like right here. That was yeah. that was like a version 11 type behavior. Yeah. So, yeah, but then version 12 is more like maybe not the last week of driver's ed school, but getting there, right? It's confident. It knows way more of the rules. Yeah. This will be interesting. This guy's backing out of the spot, and oh my Jeez. god, that was so close. That was a little too close for me. Okay, that was that was. A, I knew we were okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was as close as I would let it. You're I on that know, side of the car. I don't know if he saw us. I don't know if that. I'm gonna honk the horn on that one. Yeah, say yeah. that. You're on that side of the car. We're on this side of the car. Let me actually disengage and give a voice note here. Okay. There was a pickup backing up into the the lane of. Of control or flow, and Tesla probably should have reacted to it. Yeah, that that was very uncomfortable. I mean, maybe it read the the, the physics of it, right? Like how fast he was going or whatever it would get past, but yeah. it made me uncomfortable. Yeah. So like something like that, like that's a perfect example that I'm talking about about giving cues to the passenger and the driver that they know the car's got it. In that situation, I had zero faith that the car's got it. Even though it has superhuman physics calculation, <laughs> I didn't feel like the car's got it, right? But again, if we're talking about end-to-end -end neural nets and being able to just throw data at the problem and let the car figure it out, right? The AI figure it out, that situation should get resolved fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. Fairly, fairly quickly. And that's what we're gonna look for is those like, rate of improvements it makes perfect sense to me now why this isn't such a limited release right now and I think it's smart for Tesla to have this in limited release because the system can lull you into a false sense of security for sure because it's yeah. so damn good mm -hmm. it is really good it's so damn good but those like little things woo, it's whereas the other system wouldn't even dare Mm -hmm. To enter those situations, this one's like, yeah, f 
it, let's go. Or screw it, let's go. Excuse my French. I may have to bleep that out. You know, screw it, let's do it. And then you're like, whoa, 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 buddy. And the car's like, nah, I got it, I got it. But then you're like, dude, I, don't, I, don't, I can't do physics at, you know, at the level you can. You can't freaking get me that close to a pickup truck, you know? A race car driver would have been perfectly comfortable. Yeah. Like, Verstappen would have been like, dude, he was like three inches away. I got plenty of room. You know? <laughs> so I got the the footage saved on like how the Tesla was seeing that at least with the the repeater that's facing backwards and to the right. Yeah. So um, you know, hopefully we could piece that together. Yeah. As is, is a bit sketch. I I felt like we had at least a foot, if not. I I two. think I think we had it, mm -hmm. be, but but because the pickup truck kept backing out, kept yeah. backing up. I was like, "Does the car seeing that?" Because I don't think the pickup driver saw us. Yeah, it's about right? human comfort. So yeah. yes, like it needs, it should have had some kind of reaction to that, whether something slowing down or biasing to the left, yeah, or edge, switching lanes over, if yeah. it can. And if there's a car on the left, like slow down and like honk your horn or something. Yep. Like, yo, dude, you're in the, you're in the pick. Like that situation. If I was in the car, I'd be, I would have been honking my horn like, uh, probably here. like you know, 10, 20 yards away. Like, yo. I'm here, bro. Stop mm -hmm. backing up. I think what made me nervous is I, I saw that we were going to pass so long as he didn't hit the accelerator. Had he yes. punched it, then we then I you know we'd have a ride. Hundred percent. So here we got an orange on the left. That's exactly what I've done. Yep, perfect. Love that. Now we got to go on the right lane. Yeah. So like stuff like that, man. It does so. This is this is what I'm talking about. Like it's just the way it navigates the roads. It's just so good so natural so human confident uh-oh you still gotta it's a little blinded by the sun the angle oh okay so it's just warning me that that's interesting this is a mattress firm what else nice. is there around here there's coals we'll have it go to from the supercharger over to coals next yeah perfect Kind of going along this you know, parking lot, yeah, and then then we'll look to have it cross the street again. Okay. Yeah, really appreciate you doing this. Dude, I us. appreciate you coming out and and making the detour, dude. This is this is awesome. We got to really see some thankful. new. We got to see some new behavior. Yeah. We got our uh, butts clenched a couple times. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of a thrill line. <laughs> Yeah. But I mean, I, my biggest takeaway here is that V12, for a lot of the things that matter for there adoption, yeah, so there's a little jiggle, oh. jiggle, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. And then it'll just kind of stop here. Yeah. Yeah. Weird, unnatural, they should fix <laughs> this, but you know, it gets it done. It'd be kind of like a driver would be like, okay, here you are, get out. Yeah. <laughs> May not get a tip or a five-star review. I wanna, let's see, I'm kind of force it to do a left, so we'll go this way. Okay. Bob Bradford, I'm sorry. No, you're good. It's good. It's, it's started. It's started. Okay. That's why I do YouTube, because I talk a lot. We're going from <laughs> parking lot to parking lot, in, inside a, a big shopping area, um, to a Kohl's, and let's just see how it does. We're going shopping, baby. Let's go shopping. Then we'll look to ping pong across this road over here maybe we can get it to do another u-turn yeah see how consistent it is with u-turns so we got so we got a tight turn on the right yeah. here we got a guy making a left it did that really Ooh, nicely right. oh wow it completely avoided the the curb and then it yeah, rashed it the wheel yeah. which from yeah. my vantage point looked like it was going to clear was, no problem really because it felt tight yeah for me. no it looked pretty good for me okay here's it's starting to show that it wants to enter the intersection which it does okay stop it here yeah that was not good yep. again a little too aggressive just not not being context like there was no context there that like that i felt like it saw the car coming on the other side of the road it's like it just kind of gunned, gunned it once it felt clear that this car was going there so like yeah it was like done making the negotiation with the pickup truck on the left but then you know we almost t-boned this one yeah <laughs> but the the truck on the left was stopped so i wonder if it interpreted it as a three-way stop and so it anticipated it thought it would yeah maybe yeah 
and I don't know if you know as far as I've been, see how it slowed down for the speed bump? Yes. We, we've experienced that with several speed bumps in a row. It'll speed up and then slow down smoothly to go over the speed bump so you don't yeah. like kill yourself, you know, bounce your head and yeah. then speed back up and then slow down. Gotcha. That, that's good to know. The way it cleared that four-way stop was awesome. It started moving once it knew it was its turn and the, gar the car started clearing the intersection. It started pre-moving. So that once the car cleared, it could just go, you know, straight. So that's very natural and human-like. And the stop sign says, this, this lady's waving us on. Thank you very much. And the car went for it. I highly doubt it saw the waving maneuver, but that was good timing. Like, she has no idea that we're self-driving, which yeah. is funny. Would you like some curbside service here yeah. for calls? <laughs> I think I'm good. We got all our shopping done yesterday, thankfully. All right, so here's Coles on the right. What is it going to do? Right at the door. Right at the door. Thank you very much. All right, bye. You could have done ya. better. Okay. Couldn't have done better. So that was fantastic. All right. It would be even cooler if it put its four ways on. Are you a Tesla Nair eager to further grow your shares? At Rebellionair.com, Bradford Ferguson and Matt Smith have demonstrated their aptitude, consistently delivering groundbreaking, world-first research featured on platforms like Tesla Daily, Dave Leon Investing, Solving the Money Problem, Limiting Factor, and Farzad Mashbahi. At Rebellionair.com, we go beyond just holding shares. We strategically trim and add, capitalizing on the stock market's emotional fluctuations. Our approach involves selecting additional exponential growers, which we believe are undervalued by Wall Street. We use covered calls to create cash flow from stocks, even those without dividends. Our financial planners craft a personalized master plan using a first principles approach, addressing all aspects of your finances, not just your investments. Our goal is to consistently increase your share count, avoiding missed opportunities during market FOMO or panic selling, and minimizing tax liabilities. If you're ready to enhance your share growth with our help, visit rebellionaire.com. You're good? Yep. So we are heading to... Um, Can we switch? We're trying to we go the roundabout. There you go. There we go. Just got to get out of here. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch your screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, don't touch the radio. <laughs> Jiggle. Right. Trying to make it go through the roundabout. So we got another speed bump here, which just slows down for. That's awesome. It's cool that it can see that though, because it's not the clearest thing in the world. You know that the speed bumps are there, and it's able to what, see that. Was it clearly marked? Because that's the ones we saw. That one, kind I don't of, recall. Kind of. I didn't see it, so I didn't see. Part of it was yellow, but the other part was like just you know cement color, whatever you know, gray, mm. I guess. So here, okay, this is a roundabout. Technically, yeah, technically, we should go right. And it's this is totally not right. <laughs> that is just so wrong on so many that's, levels. That's a bad one. Yeah. It's but hey, turn. it's this is in a a commercial area, which is very yeah. unusual. Um, and I mean, to be fair, there were no signs that said that that was technically a roundabout. Yeah, either. there was no yield signs. It was just no a roundabout way, shape. No, no road marking. <laughs> yeah. It was just like. So I'll I'll save that. Yeah, bro, that was just like a random. Uh, the guy did the same exact thing. Did he just? Yeah, the another guy, guy did the way. same exact thing, which is this. <laughs> oh, they're they're little yellow. They're imitating yeah. humans. Yeah. Well, you know, Texans do whatever they want. You know. <laughs> did you see that? It's a different down country and then here. Sped yeah, back it up is. Afterwards. Yeah. So it saw this person. It thought, okay, so yeah, that was interesting how it reacted to that human. Yeah, you have these brick uh, crosswalks. But it's not like stopping for them, right? It's right. It's, it slowed down. Mm -hmm. They weren't quite there. So I just went ahead and went. It is, I, I must say that it is so impressive that this is the level of driving they can get out of a system that's been in development for like a year. And this like... Yeah, the brand new approach. Yeah. Brand new approach, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Like they definitely had a lot of approach, like they've had about six years of like work up leading to this. But the fact that they've come to this level of driving with about a year, oh, 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 right. oh, oh, like just weird. I wouldn't have done that. That's That was extremely weird. I'm pretty sure that Toyota, was that Toyota before us? I don't even know. But yeah, that was just a very weird way of clearing the intersection, stuff for that crosswalk. Here we've got another one, or the speed bump rather. But that wasn't like a safety critical 
like we had earlier. No, it, it it wasn't safety critical. It was just it was just like a weird thing. Okay, so here we got a stop sign. Let's see if it does. Yeah, she should stop here. We need to go straight, so we want in the middle lane. So this guy did exactly what we did earlier. <laughs> All right, and that's gonna get in here. Is it going to? Or may, maybe there's a third lane here that we don't know about. I think we are in the left turn lane. We'll find out. It kept wanting to go that way. <laughs> Whether you tell it to map it that way or not, Let's it's going to turn left. I'm going to force it over this time. Okay. Yeah, it's a left turning lane. So we were in the wrong way. <clears throat> it might have fixed it, but somebody could have come and plugged the hole for us. True. Yeah, it, it may have made, went into the middle lane, but... But like, like that's an, a perfect example of what I'm saying, right? Like that's not really, that's not a huge deal what just happened, right? But if I'm somebody that's new to the technology that wants to feel confident in the car, any other human would have, you know, 99% of the time would have just selected the middle lane and the, the fact the car didn't, people are gonna be like, well, I, I feel like it doesn't understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the kind of stuff that I think Tesla's gonna have to, uh, yeah, work through. This is new. Is it? No, maybe this one's been around for a bit. Okay. Thinking of a different HEV. Do you say HEV or do you say HEV? HEV. You know what it stands for? No. Here, everything's better. <laughs> Such a Texan way of like viewing the world. <laughs> and I would, okay, this, if you're from Texas, I'm really sorry that I'm going to say this, but HEV has nothing on Wegmans from the East Coast. This is slows down for the bump yeah and then it enters the roundabout beautiful roundabout i'm just gonna move this pin over here so you... uh, we won't be able to completely change it by the time we're definitely went a little bit slower than i would have but it wasn't concrete colored either yeah but i i can tell you a lot of people would have taken that significantly quicker here we got more concrete making a left very nice new development out here hopefully we got no nails on the road so we we might have an unprotected left coming up you see how it's slowing up for these concrete areas here yeah well it's um the brick kind of can signify a crosswalk so it's just being a little circuit yeah, see the, 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 the yeah. interesting the imager shows there's a crosswalk. Okay. Nice. Here we got an unprotected. Well, it's uh, yeah, unprotected left. Okay. Okay, Bradford. This one's for you, Chuck. All right. I'm putting my trust in you, buddy. We have a. I, I don't know what it's called. A danger lane. We got a turn lane in the middle. So here I would have I would have gone already, and it's just okay. So now it's stopping. Okay. Yeah, it, we, we notice in California is way, uh, way too tentative on the unprotected left. Okay, I don't, I don't mind that. So we got one, okay, we got two cars on the left, one on the right. So we're good after this pickup truck, if it, kind if of. If it shoots the gap, it needs to shoot it. Go. It needs okay. to shoot it. Shoot it. No, it's going to wait. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, not being in control of these situations, and I'm, I trust you, obviously, but not being in control is there is a level of anxiety that definitely exists. And this is where Tesla needs to do such a good job to put that to ease. So now is it gonna go? It needs to shoot it's it. Got a white minivan. It needs to shoot it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'd use the suicide lane in the middle. Okay. Yeah, use the middle lane okay. briefly. I, I don't hate it, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. three drivers in the car no passengers yeah <laughs> <laughs> too many cooks in the kitchen right yeah we got a driver a backseat driver and a passenger driver <laughs> all right we got a left turn here with a little um median in the middle with a place to shoot the gap we got cars coming it's a place across the street called natural grocers and there's a walgreens so once we get over here i'm going to yeah. navigate to the walgreens okay and see how it gets there so it's still and seems... oncoming traffic is turning i wonder if it's like you know, it has a corner right there, a little bit yeah. of a curve. That was really nice. The way it handled that was fantastic, and the way it cleared the intersection was fantastic. If it can do that in every left turn, like that level of confidence, I think this thing's going to be a gigantic hit. Mm -hmm. 
because I canceled the destination. We're going to go to the Walgreens. Walgreens. But I would really appreciate that. What, you're not going to New York with us? No, unfortunately. <laughs> I would love to. I would love to. Now, what are some tricky things with your the route you suggested to me? Um, Traffic, markings, some uh, some turns are uh, more than 90 degrees. Nice. Um, that was pedestrians, good. weird parking situations. Yeah. You just get the whole gamut. So it just paused there for like a potential negotiation with the, the truck on our right that was wanting to come out. Yeah. So here I would be creeping up to make a right hand turn right now. Yep. Because I have a, I can do a right on red. But it's waiting for the traffic on the left, which I'm not mad about. I would have probably done the same thing. I would have just creeped forward a little bit more. Now it's green, so now it's gonna go. Okay, all right. Nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. We'll see if it, it's, it's gonna, it's scheduled to go all the way to the light. Yeah, you can't go through here. It's gonna go the right light, and then once it gets in the parking lot, I want to see what it does. Yeah. What I love about this version is that it still makes a majority of the drive like brainless. Like I don't really have to worry about the car. It's just it's those little tiny situations where it needs to prove to me that that it's got it. Which like again says like driving a huge percentage of the driving experience is not really relatively speaking that difficult it's those little situations that are hair raising mm -hmm. you know that take a little more experience a little bit more experience <coughs> a little more confidence you know that's why i look at and this. if you think about the student driver that's that, where i was going yeah when it went to t-bone that escalator or whatever like nice a student driver would have been confused in that situation right in between the lines psych <laughs> right on the line <laughs> At least it straightened itself out. It just straightened itself out in the wrong awesome. place. <laughs> well, we're going to go back to the supercharger and then we'll be done. Let's do it. Going to end that. So it, it parked. Yeah. Successfully parked. So it's it's gonna want to do a unprotected left here. Okay, we gotta stop. Okay, this is gonna and we have a median. And we don't we don't have room. And we really don't have room to go. Yes. Um, so my entire faith right now is on Bradford. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Bradford, prove to me that I can trust you. <laughs> okay, so now is it gonna enter? No. We can hit the accelerator and see what happens. Mm. Okay, so I, I would I would do the same exact thing right now, right? Because I don't have a place to make a left. Yeah, you don't and have a car way. coming on. Now it's got room on the left, but this car's coming on the right. But they're not really entering that left lane. Yeah. Which the car is maybe deciding that it's not. You can't maybe see that. Yeah. We got no one behind us, so we're fine. We got no one behind us. The slope of the road, you, you might not be able to see the, the painted lines. Yeah. And honestly. If somebody was behind us, I wouldn't even force to go in the intersection anyway because I don't know if one of these guys is going to enter the left lane. Oh yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Fair I, enough. So it's like I'm not I'm not mad about this maneuver at all. Like it's this kind of stuff. Like if it does this kind of stuff consistently, I'm not mad about it. See, this is why you're here, giving us this perspective. For sure. Uh, okay. Okay, so we got more guys coming on the left. Okay. So we have someone behind us now waiting. I might give it accelerator after this clears the left. Yeah, if, just to get it to start. If if we if there is okay, room, okay go so Tesla. I, let's see after the FedEx. Let's see if it goes. Let's see if it goes. It should clear. Okay, I'm gonna hit the yeah. accelerator once, twice. Okay, so definitely a little hesitant for sure. It was also not the most. You know, the challenging thing there is because there was traffic coming on this side of the road and there is a left turning lane we have to enter, it's tough to decide if when to enter the intersection is the right 
place because if you enter the intersection then the, the guy that's coming down the street decides to go in the left lane mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you're stuck in the middle of that road <laughs> while you wait for this guy to enter the left lane and you don't know if the guy behind that guy's going to enter the left lane and someone's going to come and be like why is this guy sideways on the road Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, but at the same time, when that FedEx truck was clearing, I would have entered that. I would have entered that intersection quickly, which the car failed to do. You had to push it forward. So it was clear enough. Yeah. yeah. Overall impressions. I've, you, you've given them our, already, but anything else coming to mind for yeah. you? Yeah. The summary for me would be: I'm very impressed by the progress. the The smoothness of the system is by far the best attribute. And a lot of the things that the previous system wouldn't do well, this system does extremely well. Like exiting intersections, the way it approaches a pedestrians, the way it approaches certain intersections, um, turns feel smoother and more natural. Now, in the same token, I can totally see why this is in, very, in a very limited release because from my standpoint, the discomfort I had from a comfort perspective, but the but the trust I had in the system is almost reversed with, with this version of version 12. Whereas the comfort is superior mm -hmm. by a lot, but I don't get the same sense of, of safety as I did from the latest version of version 11. Mm -hmm. Because it seems like this one, this version is willing to push the, push the envelope. You know, it's willing to put, it's like that, that analogy you used about the student driver is perfect. I almost, I would almost say this car is somebody who has their, their, their driver's license at 16. Like, you know, like their temporary driver's license in Pennsylvania. Like you couldn't be out after a certain time or whatever. Like, I feel like it's one of those guys that's, that's getting a little too cocky. Mm. That's, that's the kind of vibe I, I get with this, with this version. It's like, you do have somebody who knows how to drive, but just, is just a little too cocky. A little too cocky. I can make it. I can do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I but, know, Dad. <laughs> but on the flip side, again, the, the biggest takeaway here is that it's it, it's in this version with the least amount of data at its disposal and the least amount of hardware uh, uh, compute to process that data and the least amount of feedback. And because it's an end-to-end -end neural network type approach, in theory, that data that they're going to throw at the compute should fill in all those gaps relatively quickly. And so, and, I, and I'll say it again, I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. If, if that approach is correct, I would- We have no stop here. We have no stop, so we gotta so clear. So I'm gonna hit the accelerator okay. a little bit. Okay. Because it stopped before. Okay. And I don't wanna create confusion for people in that intersection. Yeah, no problem. If, if what Tesla is guiding towards is correct, what I would, why would, what I would, what I would assume is that by the end of this year, we have a system that's far, just far better than the current version. And based on what I've seen so far, what I'm most excited about is that these things that it's still missing. It's finding the spot for us. Yeah. The it, things that are still missing. The things that are still missing, the, the hole should be plugged perfectly. Okay. And even though we, we wanted to go to the supercharger, it dropped us off on the other side of the road. <laughs> Get out Which is off. fine. It is but, what it is. But it's like literally... It's right there. It, it it's dropping 20 us off. yards away. Yeah. <laughs> it's an off. It's a... It's a, it's a awesome. Business. Well, awesome. thank you, Farzad. Thank you very much, man. This was a pleasure.